everybody, Michael here. Welcome back to a follow-up as promised on how to clean your Galaxy Buds part two. Now, if the audio quality is a little dull, I apologize. Uh, my external microphone is not working today for some reason. I'm working to repair it. So for today, you're gonna have to stick it out and I apologize in advance. But welcome back everybody. And I've been basically neglecting to make this video because I've been so busy with my regular tech shows and I forgot to prioritize this. But as promised, I am going to make a follow up on how to clean these things. Now, before we do start, for anyone that saw my part one video, please know if you left a comment, I read it and I've read almost every one of them. So if you have any concerns, don't be, you know, don't be neglecting that I won't read. I read everybody's comments. I try to answer as best as I can. So last time I showed you your step, I showed how to do it, but I never explained do's and don'ts. So in this video, not only am I going to show you the next preferred method that you can use, but I'm also going to explain some things that you should and shouldn't do when cleaning these. All right, so let's get started. So first thing, obviously, are to take the buds out. Now, one additional step I want to prioritize, obviously, this time around, turn off your Bluetooth if these earbuds are synced to your phone. By disconnecting the connection, it'll make it a lot easier, so that way you don't have to worry about, oh, if audio's playing or makes it you know, much more difficult in the cleaning process. So just turn off your Bluetooth till the uh, cleaning is done. Now the last time I showed you was using rubbing alcohol and using <clears throat> a Q-tip. Well, a lot of you have been concerned about that and don't like that method. So instead of doing the same thing over, I have come up and found another option that I have been using for three months. So if you guys must know, I have been using this for three months before I made this video. So you guys don't have to worry about loss of sound because the last time I noticed a lot of you said you lost quality and sound and I'll explain why that happened. I did a lot more research for this video. So instead of using liquid, we're gonna be using a substitute that does have liquid but it won't drip and I'm gonna show you. You're gonna use rubbing alcohol pads. Now, this time around, these are pads. So these are just like a little mini towel kind of. These are used obviously to keep clean cuts and germs, but watch how I'm gonna do this. Or before we even do that, look, the pad is soaked in alcohol, but it's not drenched. If I press my fingers on it, you can see the liquid is there, but if I blow on it, it evaporates, it's gone. So that's one thing I wanna clarify. Alcohol is a liquid, but it evaporates fast. So to anyone that is afraid of using alcohol in general, there should be no fear whatsoever. You should have nothing to worry. So let's zoom in now. I'm gonna zoom in and there we go. So let's get this going. So first thing we're gonna do is take our earbud. Now I've done this before. I actually made the video twice. Take the pad, gently rub it. And look how I'm rubbing. I wanna emphasize gently because you're not going in, you're not doing anything. And if you can notice, there is liquid around the earbud, but watch, within two seconds or so, it starts to evaporate. Now it doesn't look like it, but look, if I touch it, it's dry. And the earbud is clean. Now if we can focus in, you can see that the earbuds have a little something on the side. So to get earwax out from that corner, you can grab a toothpick, don't poke it in, don't go in the hole. So I'm emphasizing clearly, do not poke in, even though they're small enough, you can't. But you can go around this piece here, go around with the help of the alcohol to loosen up. And if you can see, a little bit earwax is starting to come out. So you just go a little more and you brush it off. And that is how my new preferred method to clean these. Now, you're probably saying, okay, that's it, video over. But before I end it well, I'm gonna do the other earbud. Also just wanted to zoom out. But I'm also gonna do the other video. Uh, sorry, the do's and don'ts. So first thing you should do when you're cleaning these, nice and gentle. I emphasize nice and gentle for a reason. If you do it rough and you do it like that, you're basically going to either have a higher chance of getting liquid in these things and it could possibly damage. So when I say light and gentle, just touch it, just brush on it. Now, another thing I noticed, when I was doing the repair and cleaning for this, Samsung said to not use alcohol or anything because there may be a chance that you could get the earwax stuck in the ear canal. Well, that is actually false. And how do I know this? Well, when I did this video, I took these earbuds to the science lab in my college. We magnified them 10 times zoom, and we looked at it before without the prep pads or the alcohol swabs, there was earwax that was built, I'm gonna show you one more time, that was built all around here. 
So we did it again and we noticed that there was no filling in the hole. I'm gonna zoom in one more time. There was no filling whatsoever in the speaker grill. So to anybody that is concerned about that, don't be concerned, don't be worried about it, you'll be fine. And I think, I understand why people were concerned the last time around because it's liquid, they were afraid. So that's why I'm showing you the alcohol prep pad because these are cheaper, you could find these anywhere and there's less risk so you guys don't have to worry about accidentally soaking or dousing. So I hope this clears up a little bit. Another person commented by using a pin to poke into the ear pins. Do not, I repeat, do not poke anything in these speakers. Even this toothpick, even though it's bigger, do not jam it to unclog the earwax. The reason is, if there is earwax that's in the hole, the alcohol will loosen it and brush it away. And if you put anything in those speaker grills, you will damage them. My friend did that and he broke. So he had to call Samsung to get them repaired. And last thing on the do's and don'ts, when you're cleaning these, clean them once every three months. I advise that because I don't think it's gonna build up as fast as everybody thinks, unless your ears develop earwax as crazy, that's a different story. But everybody is different, so I would advise not to clean these frequently, because you don't wanna keep mixing chemicals frequently. You wanna give it some time to kind of just, you know, take a break, <laughs> just like how we take a break. But that is basically what I wanted to say. Clean these once every three months. Do not put anything in the hole. Don't poke at it. And if you want to use the rubbing alcohol prep pads, that is a more preferred way than using the Q-tip with the alcohol. You could still use it if you still want to, but remember my first video, I said clearly, gently. So I hope you guys found this informative and I hope you guys do take what I have to say. If you do agree with this video, you can leave a like. If you have another way you want to clean them, put them down in the comments. I will try them out before I leave a response. I do want to say when anybody that leaves suggestions or feedbacks, I do try to answer as fast as I can. And whenever you guys have a new way of cleaning them, I actually do test them out. So just letting you know, I do try these things out before I tell people to try them or not. But if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. That is going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And one little quick bonus, if you want to clean the case, I would advise compressed air. Just take out the earbuds, spray with some compressed air, should be fine. So that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys found it a little more informative. Thank you for watching and peace.